Hi, welcome to Kitchen Garden Therapy. Today we will talk about winter sowing method and see if it works. So first, what is winter sowing? It's a method used by gardeners in the winter time. You can use milk jugs, large water bottles and plastic totes. Any container that can hold soil and is transparent enough to let the light come in. First, you cut or drill holes on top and the bottom for water to get in and out. Then you fill it up with soil and sow your seeds anytime during winter. And the science behind this method is basically that seeds will know when to sprout. So you just set it and forget it. So does this method work? And does it have any benefits over traditional spring planting? Let's take a look together. Here are my water bottles that I cut in half. I filled them up with soil and planted some seeds on February 11. I used tape to hold it together after the cut. And when it's time to get the plants out, I'll untape it and transplant the seedlings into the garden. So here I have some daisy planted and only a few seeds sprouted so far. And this is my viola violets. I'm just starting to poke through the soil. Today is March 22nd and temperatures are starting to rise. So hopefully in a few weeks we'll see more of these plants coming out. And now let's take a look at the plastic totes and see how are they working. I like these more than bottles because they are big and can hold more plants inside. Also they are sturdier than water bottles so the wind will not blow them away. You can see how much condensation it's forming on the lid. So basically it acts like a little greenhouse for the seedlings. So here is my artichoke starting to come out. I planted it sparingly because it gets big so fast. And over there on the other side I have my wasabi greens. First time growing it, I hope it tastes good. It's supposed to be a little bit sharp like the wasabi root. But I like spicy food so I think it will be good. Now let's take a look at the other container. It also has good condensation. Uh, what do we have growing here so good? I think this is early Mibuna. Yes, it's a Japanese plant, very fast grower, as you can see. Um, and it can be used in salads and stir fries. I'm very happy it sprouted. Probably in a couple of weeks we can start eating it. And on the other side I have another Japanese plant, uh, Japanese parsley called Mitsuba, but it didn't sprout yet. Let's check one more. I'm really excited about this one because I have planted two more plants that are kind of rare, not so many people grow them. Uh, this is another Japanese plant called Mizuna. Yes, I grow Mibuna, Mizuna, Mitsuba, <laughs> they're really similar. And this one is Orak. Orak is uh, more known as mountain spinach and it tastes like spinach as well. Okay, and over here in this container I have snap peas sprouting. Um, this one is bush variety and peas loves cool temperatures. That's why it's growing already. You can see it's kind of like um, more than an inch tall. So probably in a week or so I'll have to start transplanting it into my garden. And over there on the other side um, I'm growing salad brunette which is a perennial vegetable that has a cucumber-like flavor. After I transplant it into my garden, I hope it will come back every year. So now that we know that winter sowing does work, let's talk about benefits of this method. So first benefit is that you can do it anytime during winter, when nothing else can, can be done in the garden, even when it's like 20 negative outside. Second, you don't need any indoor setup, no grow lights, shelves, because these containers go outside. And the third and I think the most important benefit is that you don't have to harden off your seedlings as you would do with indoor ground plants. These seedlings are already outdoors, so they are used to the outside conditions. Thank you for watching.